Hey guys, Decaf back at you with another video here on the Clan Monroe Vlogs channel. Um, today I'm going to be going out, purchasing some Gundam, Gunpla, whatever you want to do. The little awesome Gundam action figure models uh, that I like to waste my time with because they're actually pretty cool. Um, it's going to be really hot today and uh, so hopefully my GoPro that's going to be shooting the time lapse doesn't die on me. Um, I don't know that I'm going to get to the camping video this week like I wanted to because I do have a pretty important exam coming up on Thursday and I, get, I just, I guess I got to prepare for that. I completely forgot about it last week. Um, so yeah, today that's what you're going to see is me going to uh, my local mall called West Edmonton Mall. I'll show you a bit around there, um, get some gunpla and uh, yeah, I'll come home and build it for you. That's going to be in time lapse for you as well. and. Yeah, I mean that's that's today. It's it's a who it's a stifling one. I don't know if you can tell. I'm actually sweating my ass off already. Um, but uh, and even worse, I don't have AC in my car, so that's always fun. But uh, so yeah, that's gonna be today. Um, hope you guys enjoy. It shouldn't be as long of a video as it was last week. All right, we'll see you when we get to the mall. Peace. Alright guys, we're at the mall, um, just got my parking spot, thankfully there was still plenty of space in the underground, well not underground, lower parking of the parkade, not in the sun, car shouldn't be too hot when I get back to it, but you know, it's what, 27, 28 degrees Celsius right now, and it is humid as fuck. Uh, they're saying that there's supposed to be a, you know, about a 30 to 50% chance of a massive thunderstorm tonight, which I'm happy with, I love the thunderstorms. So if that happens, maybe I'll get some footage of that and even post that at some point. Um, so yeah, um, we'll see you inside. Bam, now we're in the mall. Pretty loud today. Seems they actually have, oh wow, seats are open now. They have little fountains going on again. We even have a surprise for you guys. If. Uh, if you don't know anything about West Ed, we are the second largest mall in North America, I believe. And uh, we actually are able to hold the title of largest indoor amusement park with the largest indoor roller coaster in North America, which is pretty cool. It's a fun roller coaster, it has a dark history, but uh, you know what doesn't these, these days. Yeah, uh, the first, first weekend it opened, it uh, killed three or six people, something like that. Came off the tracks. It's way before my time. But uh, it's a fun roller coaster. I'll show you something else we're known for. We actually have a ship inside our mall. Yes, like a ship. It's pretty cool. All right, now to find the gunpla. Hopefully what I want is here. I'll get back to you guys. Alright guys, they had all three that I was looking for. Love it. I don't know which one I'm going to build for you today, but uh, either way, they're all pretty badass. Um, so now actually I'm going to head over to the ship, just to give you an example of what we have in this mall. Um, believe it or not, what I'm going to show you is literally a one-to-one -one scale of the actual ship. So, we have a full-on ship in our mall. How many other places can say they have a ship in their mall? Like seriously. I don't know many that can. See you guys when we get to the ship. All right, everyone, we're back. Now, like I said, I'm about to show you something that I don't think any other mall anywhere, or maybe just in North America, I'm not too sure, has the ability to say that they have. All right, this is a perfect one-to-one -one scale of the Santa Maria. Literally one-to-one. -one. We have a full-blown ship in West Edmonton Mall. How many people can say that? So the cool thing too about the ship is uh, 
you can rent it out for like uh, wedding processions, grad, I think grad parties or, parties or something like that. Um, but it can be rented out. You can also pay $2, I think it was the last time I went there, to just go on the ship and check it out. Um, which, when you're on it, it seems pretty small. I think it, there was something like 200 men on the ship when they came over from Europe. Like, it's a pretty small ship for all those people. Oh, I guess while we're here, it's not open. But again, we also have, I think, the record for world's largest indoor water park. So I'll show you that. Our indoor water park. Full on wave pool. We have some massive parties that go on here. But I mean, that's about it. It's not even open right now, so. But yeah, so Edmonton can be pretty cool. Um, it's not my home city anymore, but it's the closest one and it's got, like I said, the second largest mall in North America. Um, tons of shopping, like a ton of shopping. Um, I guess you can pretty much get everything here. Oh God, I'm so sweaty, it's so hot. Having this mask on sucks. It is really, really fucking hot. Whew. And there's even AC in here, and I'm still really hot. Insane. Oh yeah, and I guess, quickly show you. We also have an ice rink. Like a full-on ice rink. We have hockey games and stuff going on in here sometimes. We do have skate, you know, like uh, during the summer, during the winter. I want to throw on some skates and just skate. All right, we're back outside. And I will admit, it's kind of grosser out here, but that's because it's so humid. I had to turn off the camera pretty abruptly. There was a incident, I guess you could call it, going on. Mall security was talking to a couple kids, three people surrounding the kids, one of the uh, security guards. So a fourth security guard was hanging back, just watching what was going on, I guess. So, our mall security here is pretty, uh, they're pretty much cops, to be honest. I don't think you can even just call them security. There's an actual police station inside the mall. Like, full-on police station inside the mall. So, I mean, but I guess you probably should if you're the second largest, or largest, for that matter, mall in the world, well, in North America. See you guys back at home. Um, hope you enjoy the video so far. Peace. Gundam. Um, I'm about to show you the three that I got and uh, I've picked out the one that I'm gonna build so I guess let's jump right into it. Alright so it's that bottom one that first one that I showed you, that one's the one I'm going to build. Alright everyone, and we're back. This is the end result. Sexy little beast. I think this one's pretty cool. The iron-blooded orphans are always pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, this one only took, what, three hours? Two and a half? Well, he's done now, that's for sure. All right, guys, that's it for today. I, uh, I decided not to actually include the build of the Gundam. If I did uh, during the editing, it was just gonna be way too long, and I don't wanna keep you guys longer than I already have. 
Uh, if you do want to watch it, there's going to be a link in the description below uh, to the full, well, pretty much the full length uh, uh, time lapse of the build. Um, and uh, honestly, I hope you do go and watch it. Um, it was pretty fun to build, and I hope it's almost as entertaining to watch. So uh, that's going to be it for today. Um, if you like the video, like, share, and subscribe. If you do subscribe, uh, don't forget to hit the bell icon, hit all notifications so that you are going to be up to date with all of my new videos. And uh, that's it. We'll see you on the flip side. Peace.